Scorch making an appearance in the Bad Batch was one of the coolest cameos and also the most unexpected. Whoever thought Scorch would show up or any of the commandos? After playing Republic Commando earlier this year, I thought, man, wouldn't it be amazing if Delta Squad returned, if we got a sequel game or someone that appeared somewhere? Star Wars Imperial Commando, the dream is still alive, but I never thought we'd see commandos make an appearance in this show. They opened the elevator door and there he was. But there's new evidence suggesting that this clone we see here possibly isn't even Scorch. Wait, what? I mean, clearly he's inspired by Scorch, but is it actually him? That's what we're going to get to the bottom of today. You can tell me your thoughts down below. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> so this episode titled War Mantle was filled with references to Republic Commando. We've got Scorch's appearance. There was a Republic Commando visor sound effect. Wrecker's DC-17M rifle sounded the same as the weapon you use in the game. And the panel button sound effects, also from the game. I'm a like that. It's obvious the episode was one big homage to the game, paying tribute to it. The only thing it was missing was a bunch of back to inhaling knife stabbing with stab 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 commandos. Gotta stab those stupid battle droids. Seriously though, how else do you think Scorch got up so quickly after taking not one, not two, not three, but four stun shots? He went and inhaled a load of back to that's how he got up. But okay, okay. Is this actually Scorch? Well, a few days after each Bad Batch episode releases, StarWars.com gets updated with a bunch of info on each episode. Episode. And they just posted this image here. Clone commandos were first mentioned in Attack of the Clones. That's this reference here. Sir, I have five special commando units awaiting your order. But made popular in the 2005 video game Republic Commando. One of the commandos seen in this episode was designed to resemble RC-1262, aka Scorch, from that game. Wait, wait a second. Designed to resemble, as in it wasn't actually supposed to be him, it was just designed to resemble him, but was it supposed to be inspired by Scorch? What? Okay. Now, this page is quite interesting, because they also mentioned that the idea of clone commandos training standard troopers can be traced back to the Republic Commando novel, released around the same time as the game, such as Hard Contact. Bit of history here, like I said, whole episode referencing Republic Commando. For a long time, the commandos have been responsible for training troopers. Not necessarily stormtroopers, though. I think that might be a newer idea. But anyway, okay, so that's the evidence against this being Scorch. It's not clear that it is. It's saying it's just, re you know, it's just inspired by him. But one thing I noticed while writing my Easter eggs video for this episode is that almost straight after the episode released, the Wikipedia article for Scorch was updated. The Page says, Scorch engaged Gregor and his liberators and pursued them, wounding Gregor and overpowering Tech before being incapacitated by a flurry of stun blasts by the remaining rogue commandos. He later regained consciousness and joined Imperial troops on an LAATI gunship to apprehend the Bad Batch leader Hunter, taking him into Imperial custody. So the guys over at Wikipedia are basically confirming this was in fact Scorch. But as amazing and reliable as it can be, at the end of the day, Wikipedia is run by fans. It has nothing to do with Lucasfilm and the higher ups who actually get to say what is and isn't canon. So I don't think we can count this as proper confirmation, even though they're basically saying it's him. So where do we look to next? Well, David W. Collins, the sound designer at Skywalker Sound who worked on The Bad Batch, just tweeted about the latest episode. The classic saturation and flanging on Ben Burtt's original A New Hope blasters is so iconic. I had to use them. And I busted out the original game sound for Scorch's DC-17 that I made 18 years ago. So he talks about Scorch's DC-17, which Scorch didn't actually use in this episode. He was firing a DC-15A. Wrecker had the DC-17M, but he does talk about Scorch and how this episode was inspired by Republic Commando and the fact he worked on that game. He had a lot to do with creating this episode, I think is more evidence for this being Scorch, or at least some kind of reference to Scorch. David's actually a fan of the channel. Hey man, thanks. <laughs> and he originally worked at LucasArts on Republic Commando way back in 2000. 2003 and 4. The guy is responsible for creating all these iconic sounds we heard in the game and in the Bad Batch nowadays. And he even got to help Tamora Morrison record all these dialogue for the game. How amazing. Look at them. What a legend. I'd really recommend he's got this really interesting Twitter thread, which I'll link below, that goes through the game's development really cool stuff. So I still don't think after all this, we can say 100% that this is Scorch. All right, so let's compare him to the Clone Wars and take a look at his armor because it was confirmed
confirmed that obviously this was Delta Squad in the Clone Wars episode. They made a brief appearance, which as far as I know is the only time they were made official canon because, you know, Republic Commando being from 2005, not part of Disney stuff anymore. It's not recognized as official Star Wars canon. It falls into Legends, which sucks because it's an amazing game. But, you know, what are you going to do? Make a sequel. That's what they're going to do. Get on it, guys. Disney, LucasArts, Lucasfilm. Get on it. Make a sequel. <laughs> Honestly, to me, the armor, though, looks really similar in the Clone Wars. Besides the backpack, which, I mean, why would he be wearing his explosives backpack while stationed on a base training stormtroopers? You know, I can understand why he's not wearing it in the Bad Batch. But the armor looks pretty much the same, right? Same markings, same colors, same everything. I'm still really hoping we get to see more of Scorch and hopefully the rest of Delta Squad in the Bad Batch. I mean, we're going to be spending more time on Dara, right? Hunter's in his cell here. He's, he's stuck on the planet. Crosshair showed up and with Scorch being here, potentially, and with all the Republic Commandos being here, you'd have to think that possibly Delta Squad, the entire Delta Squad, bar Sev, are stationed here. I said in my last few videos how amazing it'd be if in a side story, the Bad Batch somehow teamed up with Delta Squad if they removed their inhibitor chips and then all went looking for Sev. Be such a callback to the game and there's so much history here. I feel like it'd be a missed opportunity if they don't explore more of these characters. They're kind of just sitting there. They're a goldmine of information. Let's get the original voice actors back too. We need Tamora Morrison back and the other guys. Amazing. Okay, so the big question, is this Scorch? After hearing all the evidence, do you think this is Scorch? 100%. What do you think? Or is it just a reference, an homage to Scorch? I think it's really unlikely for such an iconic character to have his armor copied. No one else is gonna have the same colors and markings in exactly the same positions as Scorch. And I'm sure you all know whether or not I think it's him. I'll tell you what, we need a scene of him in the Bad Batch inhaling Bacta, then it'll be 100%. We'll know it's him, we'll, we'll just know. <laughs> Gotta get the Bad Bacta inhaling. All right, so let me know what you think down below. And for more on Star Wars and Star Wars The Bad Batch and Star Wars game you can watch one of these videos here and follow me on instagram twitter and join my discord i'm going to be posting a lot more in the coming weeks as we get to the last few episodes of the bad batch and also as new star wars gaming news drops so keep an eye out for that come follow and thanks for watching this my name's andrew i'll catch you soon <laughs> stay bombastic